every time my husband reached out to the VA, they just kept telling him, be patient, sir. I'm here to tell you that my dead veteran husband cannot be much more patient than he is today, but me, I'm pissed. And every right to be. It is reckoning day for Veterans Affairs Secretary. Eric Shinseki, just hours from now, he will face Senate panel questions over the alleged deadly treatment delays at some VA hospitals. Our next guest, an opponent of the president's health care law, says our servicemen and women may be better off with Obamacare. Even convicts are already receiving care under it. So why not our veterans? Former Lieutenant Governor of New York, Governor Betsy McCoy, the author of Beating Obamacare, joining us now. Thank you for being with us this morning. We know that you are one of the few people who have actually gone through Obamacare and actually read the entire law as it is. And we see your binder tattered there with notes. Today, Eric Shinseki about to, to reveal and possibly answer some questions from the Senate. This is nothing new, though, the delays in terms of care for veterans, is That's it? right. And Congress has held hearings and investigations in 2000, in 2001, in 2007, in 2012, and again in 2013. And this report was uh, presented to Congress 14 months ago by the General Accountability Office, a, an arm of the federal Saying government what? that investigates. And it disclosed once again the corruption in the waiting list, the games that were played with the waiting list, deadly games that left veterans without care. It is not possible that Secretary Shinseki didn't know about this report. It was presented to him. His deputy undersecretary was in the hearing when this was discussed. And the testimony not only said that this corruption was widespread across the VA system, it also assessed the willingness of the VA and said the VA is neither willing nor capable, it appears, to correct this problem, to rectify these waiting lists. And that's why Congress needs to take action. No more investigations and committees. That's Congress's way of simply doing nothing. Well, and there's no time. That's a long delay. We've gone months and months. 14 months ago, nothing's been done. Our veterans are dying at home. They go to serve our country. And our freedom and the freedom of others, yet they come home and die here. What can be done, though, in terms of, in the meantime, Betsy, we exactly. don't have time for another what investigation. What can be done? A one-page amendment to this law that would create an additional category of Obamacare. They've got the bronze, the silver, the gold, and the platinum, but those all have high premiums and deductibles. There should be the red, white, and blue plan for combat vets, no premium to pay, no deductible to meet. And for other, other vets, minimal cost, if any. Vets have already earned their health care benefits, but they deserve a way out of these interminable waits into private sector medical care. They should get, it, it's really comparable to a voucher to go to a doctor or hospital in the civilian community. Okay, so this is under the Hire More Heroes Act, right? Already passed in the House. You're saying amend, amend it with this one page document here, That's and right. this will solve the problem? I mean, would Yes, and once Obamacare is repealed and replaced, whatever health plan replaces it, this time the lawmakers should look out for the vets especially when they've looked out for groups like convicts. Uh, this is, maybe this is a silly question to ask here. I'm a layperson. I haven't read the entire law. I've read enough of it, though. Why wasn't this, if they knew the problems 14 months ago, minimum, and this is the fifth time it was brought forward, why not in this big document That's here? That's right. All these pages, they ignored not, the vets. Was there not this one page yes. that would solve this for the veterans? It's very unfortunate, but clearly the authors of this law, they cared more about convicts than about vets. That's really the bottom line. Sickening. They were looking out for other groups. Sickening. Betsy McCoy, we thank you for reading that. We thank you for bringing this forward. I have a feeling that note right there will make its way into the questioning of Eric Shinseki this afternoon. Let's hope so. And, let, and let's hope that we do something right now for the vets. Absolutely. No time to waste there. Coming up.